Christians are now a minority in England and Wales, historic poll reveals. The results of the 2021 census were released by the Office of National Statistics, revealing a historically sharp decline in the number of people identifying as Christian in England and Wales. Other regions of the United Kingdom, such as Northern Ireland and Scotland, report their census data separately. According to the census, the number of people identifying as Christian in England and Wales fell from 33.3 million or 59.3 percent in 2011 to 27.5 million or only 46.2 percent in 2021, a shocking 17 percent decrease in 10 years. On the other hand, those who identify as Muslim rose from 4.9% in 2011 to 6.5% in 2021, making it the fastest growing religion in England and Wales. Meanwhile, the number of non-religious people increased from 25.2% to 37.2%. Reacting to the latest data from the 2021 census, Archbishop of York, Stephen Cottrell, said that both regions, quote, left behind the era where many people almost automatically identified as Christian. Stephen Evans, the head of the National Secular Society, said, it's official. We are no longer a Christian country. We actually discussed this with Harris Sultan. And we were like looking at the non-religion rising as you know the Christianity was going down, but non Islam because a lot of people say that Christianity is going down and it's Islam that is growing in its replacement. But if you I, I can't find the graph but the graph that Harris had. No, if you if scroll you actually, down, you should see one in our post. Look it right here. Hmm. There was a Okay. Click on this tweet so we can bl blow it up bigger. Okay. So if you look at this picture, the gray in the graph is the results from the mm. previous census, 2011. Mm. The blue is the results from this current census. So if you look at this, in terms of what is technically a religion, then yes, Muslims would be the fastest growing religion. But in terms of right. just demographic groups based on belief, which includes non-religious belief, obviously, then actually it's the non-religious that are the fastest growing. Because if you look at the Christian segment versus the non-religious segment, the no religion, it is very clear that the people who are leaving Christianity are not going to other religions. They're abandoning religion altogether. Yeah. Here, look, I find the I find the graph I was talking about. Mm. So Christianity is going from 2001. Wow, look at the change. Guys, this is only 20 years. Like from going Christianity from 70% to under 50% in less than 20 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not, this is not, the, these changes are based on people changing their mind. Like you can't explain numbers like this because of demographic changes no, or because of like, um, you know, um, having children or stuff like that. Yeah. Immigration or what is that? There's a better word for having children. What is it called? Reproduction. Okay. No. Yeah. Never mind. But it's not, it's not any of that. It's this, these are people deciding like, yeah, Christianity is not for me, especially because non-religion is growing so much because you can't explain non-religion growing so much by immigration, right? Like there are no, like there's not a mass migration to England and Wales from <laughs> above atheists, right? This is just a uh, birth are... rate. That's what you meant. Birth rate. Yes. Birth thank rate. You, thank you, Horace. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The, yeah. Birth rates can't explain this birth rate. Okay. Birth rate can explain this green line. You see and migration and birth rate, birth rate and migration can explain, explain this green line here. Yeah. You there was the also an going? increase in Hinduism, but it was tiny yes. in comparison to Islam. Yeah. But birth rate and migration cannot explain this or this. All right. And okay. Because the Muslim one, because it's both migration and birth rate, it's not all birth rate. Migration is also helping with the slight increase in Muslim. 
Yeah. That means that the overall change in Muslim around the world is not significant because they're just moving. Some of it is explained by just them moving around, mm -hmm. not by them actually increasing mm -hmm. as a whole in the planet. This mm -hmm. is the non-religious growing as a whole in the planet. And also, Fact. what is another, another thing that is optimistic about this is that you see this happening. Okay. You see this Muslim countries. This is your future. This, this is your future. Okay. So this green line increasing might be because some Muslims are coming from Muslim countries to UK. Right. But we're going to, we're not going to go play the defense. Okay. We're not going to be like, oh no, don't come here. You can come here. It's fine. Okay. We're going to come for your country and this is your future. Okay. This, this red line going up like this, this is the future of Saudi Arabia. This is the today of Iran, the future of Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and you know Indonesia. Yeah, Malaysia. I think Iran has way better yeah. statistics than England when it comes to this. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you could you could be proud of just like slightly increasing your numbers just because you move around, but we're coming for the source. Okay, we're playing the offensive game. We're coming for your children. We're not coming. We're not playing the defensive game. Okay, this is. Oh this my is, goodness. Is, yeah. One thing that I think is really important to talk about, though, is that. Um, this is something that the National Secular Society talked about in their press release about this um, poll. And the National Secular Society, for those who don't know, is kind of the predominant secular organization of the United Kingdom. They're kind of like the FFRF of England, or the UK, I should say. And so they said, the established church is absurd and unsustainable. And I think this is really important to consider because the construction of state church is very different in England. It said, the National Secular Society, which campaigns for separation of religion and state, said the figures demonstrate the need for fundamental reforms to the relationship between religion and state. The UK has an official state religion, the Church of England, which is granted unique privileges, including 26 places in the House of Lords reserved for its bishops. So these are spots reserved for religious representatives. They should stop the that. You're not a Christian exactly. country anymore. Yeah. The head of state, the British monarch, is also the supreme governor for the Church of England and takes an oath to promote the church. One third of state schools in Britain are faith schools, and all state schools must, by law, hold daily acts of Christian collective worship. All state schools. The National Secular Society chief executive Stephen Evans said it's official we are no longer a Christian country the figures census figures paint a picture of a population that has dramatically moved away from Christianity and from religion as a whole the status quo in which the Church of England is deeply embedded in the UK Constitution is unfair and undemocratic and is looking increasingly absurd and unsustainable we need a fundamental reforms to become a truly secular democracy one that reflects the reality of our irreligious and diverse people that is fit for the 21st century. So I thought that quote from Stephen Evans was just so good at capturing like why this is so important to the identity of the UK. I like that, but here's the negative part. Okay. Ready for the negative part. Okay. Oh, you that is just one the negative. <laughs> yeah. That is just one person. Okay. I can tell you for a fact. Okay. I'm almost certain. Okay. That if the Muslims, okay, were here, they, not here, not where we, the non-religion are at, but just here, okay, they were already, yeah, they were already mobilized and done enough politics in the UK for them to make all these changes about the identity. Oh, of you're UK. not lying. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. But us, yeah. So they were like, but the why amount that they have already, they established Sharia courts. Yes, oh. but uh, but the non-religion, even though Christianity has gone under 50%, the non-religious people in the UK have not mobilized or done enough political activism enough for this for the UK's identity and official religion to not be Christian yet. So you know how much we make fun of Muslim beliefs, okay? Muslims are better than you non-religious people. They're politically active. In this and case, they're smart about it too. They're smart about it. So as much as we're gonna congratulate ourselves, atheists and non-religious people, are like oh, Muslims are ridiculous and we're smart. Actually, in this case, they got you beat. 
They get you beat. They are they're smart enough about being politically active with much less numbers than you. They get so much more from their states. You guys don't mobilize. You're not, you don't build communities. You don't build, become politically active to do this thing to your government. Your, your country is less than 50% Christian and still it's officially a Christian nation with Christian doctrine, with Christian, um, you know, I don't know. Pol- in politi- yeah. So you, you guys would be lazy. You guys are like just not active. So congratulations to Muslims that they actually get off their butts and do something. They get they're mobilized, they build communities, and they actually do something. Not like you lazy atheists. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, team Muslim, like yeah, zero to team you get you guys congratulate yourself for these numbers to go up. But what did you do about it? You have like mm. politically have done nothing. You have the numbers and you don't do anything with it. They have accomplished more with lower numbers. So this is point one to Muslims, zero for atheists. Okay. Be ashamed. Okay. I think having this knowledge more publicly made available about how large our numbers actually are will help mobilize people though. Yes. Because a lot of times you don't know how much power you actually could have in the body politic you just need to grasp it and i think like awareness of these kinds of things will get people starting to think about this in that way more i'm just trying to be a bit more positive and encouraging because damn (laughs) (laughs) just dragging us over the coals (laughs) yeah harris is like harris is saying yeah i also said this look at all the noise they create with only 6%, imagine the noise they'll create when they are 20%. Yeah, but you're saying that as a warning. I mean, they're doing something right. Why can't we be like that? Why can't we be like that? We have more, we have bigger numbers. Why Why are? Why is our, vo- our voices not being heard? It don't keep, like one thing that atheists keep doing is that keep, they keep blaming others. Like, oh, why don't people do things for us? We have more, why is the state religious? Why is like, like you're just sitting back with zero, like with zero activism, like, oh, why is everything so bad? Like, you think things just happen? You have to get up. You have to mobilize. You have to do activism. The states are not just there, just like, oh, look at their numbers and just deliver things to you because you have like polls show high numbers. They actually look at how big your voice is. And if you don't shout, they don't care how big your numbers are. I think. Okay, I understand your frustration, Armin. I really do. Because, like, I I feel a lot of it. And also, you've been doing this for longer than me. So I can understand how, especially over, like, the long term, you're like, come on, people. When are we going to get it together? But I don't know. I Like, we should recognize that there are, like, really incredible cutting-edge secular activists in the United Kingdom that are doing amazing work. So I just don't want you to discredit them. You're muted. I don't, I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm saying you should join them. I didn't say okay, there's let's, zero. Let's focus on that a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I like, like find that it. more. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not talking. Obviously, I'm not talking about the ones that are active. I'm talking about those ones that are not active. I didn't say they don't exist. I'm saying they're like, you don't even like, actually, that makes it worse, Susanna. Y- you know why? Because your lazy ass didn't even have to create their organization. Their organizations are already there. You just had to find them and join them or support them. You could have gone volunteered with them or you could have donated to them. You could, if you're in the UK, do you know the secular organizations in UK? If you are an atheist and in the UK, have you volunteered for them? Have you donated to them? So they even they exist. So you don't even have to create them. They're already there. So what are you waiting for? I think I'm just getting triggered because of the way you're generalizing with the rhetorical you. I'm like, hey, speak no, I'm for yourself. Obviously not talking. If you are, are, if you're an activist, I'm obviously not talking about you, I'm, like the person who's listening. I'm talking about the atheist that is just like, yeah, everything's religious, just complaining and done doing nothing. You have, you are in no, in no position to complain. Okay. Like, talk, same thing with like women in the United States. Okay. If you're if your women's rights are being taken away and you 
like did not do any activism right like you you got what you know this is what happens if you like if you're one of those women who like hillary trump but make, it doesn't make any difference you, you're part of the problem yo <laughs> yeah yeah darko is saying i feel so judged right now <laughs> <laughs> okay well anyways can we clap for the next thing <laughs> sorry i just The way you went off. Oh, my God. Okay, yes, we can. Yeah. I mean, guys, like, the people who say that this doesn't work, like, I don't know why Oxymoron, for example, in the live chat suggesting that this would never work, right? We just showed you news. Of... Fascist. That's why he's suggesting you... that. Yeah, no, but, like, we just showed you, like, in the United States, we have the Satanic Temple, and we have the Freedom from Religion Foundation. It works. There are people there doing the work, and it, with very low numbers, they have produced so much results. Imagine what they can do if more people join them. Just saying. All right. Next news is clapping. You said clapping, right? right. Wait. Okay, you shouldn't reckon. Aren't you the Canadian that still bends the knee to the king? Ouch. <laughs> no, I don't. I have I'm been kidding. I have been outspoken against the monarchy. When did I fucking I piss on the monarchy? No, he's just poking fun at you. No, I'm a Canadian that is anti-monarchy in Canada. I don't bend the knee to monarchy, okay? Fuck the king. And you know this it's my king, okay? That guy is my king, okay, as a Canadian, and I say fuck him. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.